Hey guys and welcome back. Be sure to check out all of our picks for today's action over at stumpthespread.com which is linked down in the video description. Heading into today's video, going to be talking about this Eastern Conference matchup between the Brooklyn Nets and the Detroit Pistons. Give our lean on who we feel has the better edge against the spread. Brooklyn coming into this one today as about six point underdogs. Of course, these teams played relatively recently about a couple weeks ago and the Nets were just completely outclassed on their home court losing to Detroit by a final of 80 to 114. It's actually interesting that the Pistons haven't won a single game since that great performance against the Nets. They've gone on to lose each of the last four games, so they're going to be trying to bounce back here today on their home court against a manageable opponent. The Nets on the year, they've been a little bit more competitive this season. They're 17 and 29 overall, and they're just 7 and 14 on the road. You compare that over to the Pistons, who are now 500 on the year, 22 and 22 overall, and they're 13 and 7 at home. The Pistons they got off to that great start where they won 14 of their first 20 games, but they have been treading water and slowly but surely working their way back to a 500 record. Part of this is because Detroit's gone against a very tough schedule this year, but also you have to consider the fact that they've been dealing with some injuries. Reggie Jackson has been out for an extended period of time. John Lure hasn't really been able to go this year, and now he's going to be out for the remainder of the season. They still have some pieces and guys that they can be competitive with. Just they're trying to learn how to win here without Reggie Jackson in the lineup. And Ish Smith, he's been taking a lot more minutes than he's been used to getting here over the last couple of years. And he could be getting a little bit fatigued. He's a great backup point guard, one of the fastest players in the NBA. But when he needs to play, 35 to 38 minutes or so per contest, it really just reduces the effectiveness that he has on the court. But in that one outing that Detroit had at Brooklyn, their team just gelled really well together. They got pretty much whatever they wanted on the offensive end. It was also one of their most complete defensive performance that we've been seeing out of the Pistons in recent memory. But the Nets, in their last outing, they looked a bit better. They went on to beat the Miami Heat at home by a final of 101 to 95. This was a nice bounce back win there for Brooklyn after they had lost their previous three games in a row as well as back-to-back -back home games against the Knicks and the Spurs. On the season, the Nets, they're 13th in the NBA in scoring, 26th in total team defense, a negative plus-minus of negative three. The Pistons, they just seem to match up really well with Brooklyn, at least from the game that I saw them play in their last matchup. Brooklyn just simply did not have an answer for Andre Drummond down low. Drummond, through three quarters, was able to put up a 20-20, and... If he's able to continue to find that type of success here today against the Nets at home, then the Pistons could certainly get things back on track and kind of put this losing streak behind them. In their last outing, the Pistons, they came up short against the Washington Wizards, losing that one by a final of 112 to 122. It just seems like the Pistons never play their best ball against Washington. They don't typically have great answers for John Wall, as well as Marcin Gortat down low. And Detroit... In that particular outing, they actually did play a couple of strong quarters. It was just that third quarter defensive performance that was particularly awful. They gave up 45 points. But outside of that, it was actually a pretty respectable showing from the Pistons. They got things back and competitive in the fourth quarter after they had gotten down by about 20 points or so. It got to within about four to five points, and the Pistons just weren't able to finish the deal as the Wizards were able to separate there in the closing minutes. On the season, the Pistons, they've been a defensive-oriented team. They're 25th in the NBA in scoring compared to 6th in total team defense, and their plus-minus is about even. So heading into this one, we expect a, a little bit more competitive matchup than what we saw in the last meeting between these two, and that's just to be expected. The Pistons, they got out to a 40-point lead by the fourth quarter, and you know to have that kind of success against a team, it's particularly difficult to replicate something of that magnitude. So even though we do see this as being a little bit more competitive, Detroit, they have a lot going and on the line here today as they try to get things back on track against a manageable opponent. We see them bringing the effort here needed to go ahead and get this win and buy enough points to get the cover. So we're going to go ahead side with the Pistons here, giving those points as our NBA pick video play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. If you disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our picks over at stumpthespread.com linked down in the video description and be sure to click that subscribe button on our youtube channel thanks for stopping on in and we hope to see you guys in future videos bye